In this video, you'll learn how to set up and install the Starship It Pick and Pack mobile app. This app is designed to streamline your warehouse workflow by enabling picking and packing on the move from any Android or iOS device. The app complements your existing Starship It desktop experience, providing flexibility to work away from your usual workstation. Whether you're managing peak season volumes, temporary staff, or simply prefer mobility, the app ensures you can handle orders efficiently while maintaining your usual workflows through Starship It for desktop. This video will cover how to get set up, take a look at some of the app's capabilities, and give an overview of our recommended workflows to help you make the most of the app. Let's get into it. With multiple modes to choose from, as well as a host of handy features, the Starship at Pick and Pack Warehouse app is the ideal tool to simplify your warehouse operations, whether you're just getting started or shipping hundreds of orders a week. Simply choose from either picking mode, packing mode, or both, and onboard your team in minutes. Our app also works with any device, so instead of buying dedicated hardware, use the Android and iOS devices your team already are used to. It's also very easy to use. We've designed our app specifically so that anyone can pick it up, which makes it ideal for temporary peak season stuff. To get started, download the app from the App Store for iOS or Google Play Store for Android. You'll need to use the links in the video description. Now let's set up the app. Open the app and log in with your Starship and account. The onboarding and settings are local to each device, allowing you to configure different devices with different settings. This is helpful if team members are dedicated to picking or packing, but note that you can always change these settings later on the settings menu. Once you've logged in, you'll be guided through the onboarding process where you'll choose how you'd like to use the app. The settings you choose here determine how orders display in the app. Choose Picking if you'll use the mobile app to pick orders and then pack them separately using the Starship at Desktop app for the rest of your workflow. Select Packing if you don't have separate picking and packing processes or if you're picking from paper some reason, only want the app for packing validation and shipping. Select both if you intend to handle picking and packing on this device. On the next screen, we'll be asked to which kinds of orders we want to pack. I'll be packing picked orders only. This is useful if your workflow involves distinct picking and packing processes. Packing new orders. This might be better if you have a combined picking and packing process. These options give you the flexibility to set up the app based on how your pick and pack process works. For example, you might want half your staff to focus on picking things using the app in picking mode, and the other half your team to focus on packing things using the app in packed mode to keep them separate. You'll then be asked how you want to scan orders. You'll be given a choice of either using your device's built-in camera or using a physical scanner. To use a scanner with the mobile app, just pair it through your device settings and it'll work automatically. And then finally you'll be asked if you want to print from directly from your device, with the choice of a few options. You can print using the device, enforce printing orders only after packing, which disables the ability to mark an order as packed, or don't print using the device at all, which marks orders as packed. You can also print via the Starship at Print Client. Click Confirm My Choice, and then click Go to Orders. To start picking orders, go to the Picking tab. You can pick orders one at a time, or use bulk picking to gather items from multiple orders at once. Bulk picking works like a consolidated pick list. When you select multiple orders, the app generates a combined list of everything you need to pick. If multiple orders contain the same item, the app will automatically consolidate quantities, so you only need to pick each SKU once. To make picking more efficient, sort items to match your warehouse layout. If your stock is organized by bin location or alphabetically, sorting SKUs the same way in the app makes it easy to follow an efficient picking route. Once sorted, walk through your warehouse, collecting the items in order. As you pick, mark items as picked either by scanning each item's barcode or manually tapping them in the app. If you cannot pick all items in an order, whether that's due to stock issues or another reason, you'll see an option to partially pick at the bottom of the screen. Selecting this will allow you to complete packing with the items you've picked and the app will automatically create a new order for the unpicked items. As you pick, the app updates in real time across all logged in devices, ensuring your team always has an up to date view of what's been picked and what remains. Here's a tip if you're using a physical barcode scanner, you can configure the app to use it instead of the device's camera. Go to Settings, Configure Scanning to set this up. If you scan an incorrect barcode, or try to pick too many items, or even attempt to pick an item that isn't part of the order, the app will display an error message. Once all required items have been picked, the order is ready for packing. If you're using Starship It for desktop, you can filter orders by the pick tag to see what's ready. If you're using the mobile app, 
packed orders will automatically appear in the packing tab. Here's a final tip. If you want to enforce scanning and remove manual picking, go to Settings, Configure Scanning, and Enable Scan Only Mode. This ensures every item is scanned before it is marked as picked. Once your items are picked, it's time to pack them into their parcels. Packing confirms that the correct items go into the correct packages, allows you to update packaging details, and finalizes the order for shipping. To begin, locate the order you want to pack. If you've got a packing slip with a barcode, scan it and the order will open instantly. If you're not using barcodes, you can sort orders based on your workflow. Oldest to newest, priority items first, or any other method that suits your team. On the packing screen, scan each item's barcode to confirm it's packed correctly. If scanning isn't required, use the plus and minus buttons to mark items manually, or tap pack all to pack everything at once. Note that you can enable the plus and minus buttons from the settings page. If you try to pack an item that isn't part of the order, or if you overpack, the app will display an error message. Need to adjust shipping details? You can update the courier service or packaging directly from the packaging screen. Here's a tip. If you use predefined packages, you can enable scan to select packaging. Just scan a barcode, and the correct packaging will be applied automatically. You can also select multiple packages for an order when packing if needed. Once all your items are packed, click complete packing to finish. If needed, you can trigger printing at this stage to generate the shipping label, ready to attach it to the parcel. Now the order is packed and ready to ship. Move on to the next one to keep the workflow moving. If you want to enforce printing, go to settings, print settings, and set the app to automatically print labels when packing instead of using markers packed. Finally, Let's take a look at the settings tab. This is where you can fine tune the app to meet your needs. In role, you can enable or disable the picking packing based on device roles. Customize item attributes displayed on the picking or packing screen, for example, stew, bin size, color, barcode, or weight. Manual quantity adjustment lets you enable manual controls so you can adjust pick and pack quantities directly. Print settings is where you can control whether you print your labels from your device, which printer, and whether you want to enforce printing or not. Setup scanning behavior lets you choose between using the device camera or a physical scanner which you can pair and enforce scan only picking. Adjust search behavior lets you enable multiple picking by long pressing orders. Under search behavior, you can control what happens when you search for an order in the search tab. When you scan an order number, it will either automatically open the order right away or it will return it in the list which allows you to then scan another order number so you can bulk pick additional orders. Finally, in the support section, you can report a problem and request new features. And that's an introduction to the Starship It mobile app. Check out the guide linked in the video description and subscribe for more helpful tips and tutorials. Happy shipping!